and welcome to this week's episode. We're going to take a look at easy and effective ways to clean your home. Cleaning your home, no matter how big or small, can sometimes seem like a daunting task. So we've compiled a list of easy and effective ways to do so. Establish a cleaning routine. Create a schedule that outlines specific cleaning tasks for each day, week or month. This will help you stay organised and prevent overwhelming cleaning sessions. A little tip from me personally here is I used to dedicate like a day to deep cleaning a room throughout the house. So like Monday would be like living room, Tuesday would be like kitchen. Obviously you've got like the daily stuff you need to do, like load the dishwasher, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah, keep on top of the dishes and the washing and stuff. But I would like deep clean like the bathroom on like a Wednesday. And then, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it then until it come round to the next week. Mm-hmm. Apart, just... apart from obviously like if there was empty toilet roll tubes you'd move them into the bin you'd put yeah. on you know you'd like, the daily things you still do but they're like they can be sometimes autopilot tasks like doing the dishes doing the dishwasher things like that Absolutely. But yeah. so like for the living room you know I wouldn't like get the hoover out multiple times a week I would just hoover on that day but like do it properly you mm-hmm. know it wouldn't just be like a quickly whiz round with it it would be a do it properly hoover all the sofa off take all the cushions off hoover under there move the sofa out the way hoover like yeah deep clean that room so it was so clean that you didn't have to do it for another week yeah and you deep clean it again but that's what i found really really easy and um you know i had like the schedule printed out and like just stuck on the fridge so I wasn't even having to use like my brain to think about what needed doing. I just literally had to think like, what day is it? Oh yeah, it's that day. So we're doing this. Yeah. It's, you know, it can take a lot of mental space to work out like what needs cleaning. and Definitely. Especially if you don't have a routine. Mm-hmm. I like, get the minute in this house because it's, because it's all still like a kind of work in progress type of situation. There isn't like we can't just deep clean one room this day and one room that day because like we'll move one bits out of one room into another room and it keeps going around like that a little bit. So we're getting there. And I do find that it's a lot more chaotic not having that like this day we do this, this day we do this. Um because yeah. I'll I'll literally be in in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the living room, and back into the kitchen, back into the bathroom. And it's like back and forth. Whereas it's like, why do I make things harder for myself? It's much easier to have a cleaning routine. I will say that. I, I will admit we don't really have a cleaning routine now but this is when I was like when Dean was out the house at work and I was at home on my own with the kids and we needed that structure. extra structure yeah. to support us through life <laughs> yeah <laughs> just to like get through and not live in a shithole right <laughs> absolutely absolutely that yeah I do highly recommend cleaning routine also also no judgment if you do live in a shithole because if you see my house right now it's just like you know there is no judgment but you know cleaning routines is the one declutter start by removing unnecessary items or clutter from your living space sort them into categories such as donate sell or discard a clutter-free home is easier to clean and maintain absolutely like my house was so much easier to maintain before I had children. Well, that's we're it we're in the declutter phase. We we are in the declutter phase. My mum is is I slowly realise that she has hoarder tendencies. Mm-hmm. And it can be very tricky for her. She finds it very, very hard to like just let things go. This sentimental value in specific items as opposed to Anyway, that's a whole nother video right there. <laughs> but because we're in the decluttering phase, I'm finding it easier to be able to clean places that need cleaning that, that yeah, basically yeah. haven't probably been cleaned for a long time. So yeah. <laughs> One We've thing... a lot. We've made a lot of trips to the skip. And yeah. One thing we try to like live by is that like if we haven't used it in like six months then like get rid of it oh absolutely. And then you always find you need that thing like a week later after you've thrown it away. I'll I'll have regrets and then I will source another one. Yeah, and then it will sit there for another six months, <laughs> and then you'll throw because it. Because we're all we're all human at the end of the day, right? <laughs> Let's not forget that. Sting. 
dust surfaces regularly using a microfiber cloth or duster. Start from the top and work your way down, ensuring you cover furniture, shelves, electronics and other surfaces. Don't forget to dust blinds, ceiling fans and light fixtures. Vacuuming and sweeping. Vacuum carpets, rugs and upholstery at least once a week. Use attachments to reach corners and edges. For hard floors, sweep or vacuum first and then mop using a suitable cleaner or floor solution. Wiping surfaces. Use all-purpose cleaner to wipe down countertops, tables and other surfaces. Pay attention to high-touch areas such as doorknobs, light switches and handles. And if you have stairs in your house, right? Mm -hmm. bloody banister jeez like yes. that's insane obviously when you're climbing up the stairs you're holding on to the banister right when you're going down the stairs you're holding on to the banister and then the whole family are doing that mm -hmm. so we're actually in the middle of like stripping all of the paint off of our stairs right now it's got 25 years worth of paint on there and it seems that the people that lived here before us didn't clean the banister they just put a fresh layer of paint on the banister. So it's like, been wonderful. <laughs> We've seen such a vast difference between like the bit that's on the stairs and then the bit that's like on the landing that just stops you from falling over the stairs. Because mm -hmm. you don't touch that bit, right? You're not using that to like pull yourself up the stairs. Yeah. But the one that's like on the stairs, Jesus, the, like the dirt that is in between the layers of paint on there is insane. Is it like when you is it like when you count in the circles in a tree is it like the aging of the tree, like the aging of the banister? <laughs> or like when they're doing uh, carbon dating in the ground and it's like the layers of the ground, is that what the layers of the paint is like? It literally is like that. So like obviously we've been sanding it, we've been paint stripping it, like we've been doing everything. We just can't get it all off properly. Um and like bits where it's been sanded, you can see the layers of paint. Like we've got managed to get some of it back down to the wood now, but you can literally see the steps of the layers of the paint in it. Like, <laughs> it's nuts. It's taken us months to get to this stage, but it will be done soon. And when it's done, we're going to paint all of our woodwork green. Okay. Nice. That'd be a nice color. That yeah. will be nice. And I mean, like, I will admit, I probably wouldn't like strip paint off to put it to, to before I painted it over but one thing I would do is I'd definitely clean the woodwork before I painted it exactly <laughs> right but like it's got to the point on this banister where you can't even see like the grooves in like the wood anymore on like the decorative bits because it's just the paint is so thick on it yeah and it's like the job that we've lived till last because we know how daunting it is so we've been here six years now this year and finally you know because it takes time to like get your house up together and do oh, it definitely does. and then we've never touched any of the woodwork in the um hallway or the kitchen because they're just such like mammoth tasks mm -hmm. because the woodwork in the hallway is the the stairs right? yeah. <laughs> the banister yeah. and everything so we're getting there we're slowly powering for it whilst also obviously we're in the middle of summer now so i'm trying to do the garden and everything yeah so in between jobs uh, we'll, we'll get there eventually maybe by christmas we'll have it painted and done <laughs> that's what i keep saying about the living room <laughs> We'll update you at Christmas, guys. <laughs> Cleaning the kitchen. Clean kitchen appliances regularly, such as the stove, microwave, refrigerator and sink. Wash dishes promptly or load them into the dishwasher. Remember to wipe down the kitchen cabinets and sanitise cutting boards. From cleaning. Scrub the toilet, bathtub and shower using appropriate cleaners. Clean mirrors, countertops, and sinks. Don't forget to change towels regularly and empty the bin. I do That's... want to say this this quick tip. You've probably all seen it already if you're on social media, but apparently shaving foam, if you clean your mirrors and then put shaving foam on afterwards, it stops them from like misting up when you have a shower and, and stuff like that. So I just I just thought I'd put that little cleaning tip in there because I'm going to, I'm gonna try it. Because I'm always really getting out the shower and then wiping and murder for like wiping the glass you know yeah. like making a, a hole in the in the condensation so i can see um and then, and then that just like leaving makes... finger marks all over <laughs> <laughs> pretty much pretty much so i am going to try that hack because then i won't need to do that right oh well, we just had someone come out to look at our extractor fan in the bathroom because like it wasn't really like doing anything 
And we thought that it only came on when you turn the light on, but it's actually meant to be running all the time. But it had a filter oh. in it, right? So it's got this filter in it, and this filter was so clogged, like I don't think it's been cleaned or anything like the whole time that it's been there. And it's had to have been there at least 10 years now. We didn't even know it had a filter in there. I was going to say, it, like, I wouldn't, who knows that they have filters in? Oh, exactly. If you so knew they had filters in, pour it in the comments and let us know, because you're one of kind. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy that come out to look at it he literally just took the filter out and now my bathroom mirror doesn't steam up anymore oh the, the extractor fan is working as it's doing its job who would have thought it's just crazy right who who would have thought that an extractor <laughs> fan could actually do its job properly <laughs> laundry routine establish a laundry routine to keep clothes clean and organized sort clothes by color fabric type Follow the garment care instructions and hold or hang them neatly after they are clean. And if you have a child, get them involved in folding up their own clothes as well. Mm -hmm. So like for those of you that don't know, our daughter is homeschooled and she has jobs that she has to do every day. So if there's washing, she has to fold her and her brother's washing and pack it away in the drawers. And then she also has to empty the bin from upstairs too. So like the, the bathroom bin, because everything just gets like put in the bathroom bin right from upstairs because now I can't be bothered to walk down the stairs. Put it in the bin. <laughs> so then she has to empty <laughs> she has to empty the bathroom bin every day and fold her own laundry and her brothers too. So, you know, get them involved because they're only gonna have to do that throughout life anyway. So teaching them those skills from a younger age helps them to you know just implement that into a routine easily and it helps them to become more independent as well yeah yeah uh, like she'll help with all kinds of stuff around the house so like she'll uh wipe things down she'll help do the dishwasher um she'll like sweep up not very well because the brush is like three times the size of her <laughs> but at least she's trying right she tries window cleaning Clean windows inside and out using a glass cleaner or a mixture of water and vinegar. Use a microfiber cloth or a, a squeegee for streak-free results. Regular maintenance. Stay on top of regular maintenance, such as checking for leaks, changing air filters, you know, those ones in your extractor vines, <laughs> and replacing light bulbs. This will help prevent bigger issues and ensure a well-functioning home. Good thought. Remember, cleaning your home is a continuous process. Break tasks into manageable chunks, involve other household members if possible, and don't hesitate to ask for help when needed. We hope this video helps you get prepared for the summer cleanse before the kids break up from school for the summer. Check out our range of eco-friendly cleaning products by EcoVibe. The link will be in the description below. And now a little tip that I can give from me is writing a list and breaking it down room by room. So like, I would put clean the kitchen on one column and then another column next to it, I would write all the things that need doing in the kitchen to make it clean. Because it's not as simple as just clean the kitchen, is it? It's wipe well, this, the sides down, the load thing. the dishwasher. If, you, if you're just starting now, if you're going to do a big deep clean before the summer, it's going to involve like a lot of moving around, maybe some reorganisation, some decluttering. Um, so it would help to have a list because if you just walk into a room and there's just stuff all around you, you're going to feel very overwhelmed and you're going to likely feel like, I don't want to do this right now. Mm -hmm. Or why did I start this? Exactly <laughs> that. When we start, we've got to finish, right? So try and make right. it easy for yourself and just and pinpoint the main tasks that it is that you want to be done in that room that would qualify that room as being clean in your eyes. Because remember, it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. It's your home. So. And, you know, if you've got someone else that's like helping you clean, so like Dean will help me clean and do things. He does most of it, to yeah. be honest. Um, He can then refer to that list and see exactly what needs doing. And if I've ticked it off already or not, so then you're not like going over and doing the same thing. So it is very, very helpful to have that like two column list. So like you put your room and then the list of all the stuff that needs doing in that room. And it helps us because we're a neurodivergent family. So having a list and being able to tick it off fills us with dopamine. <laughs> it's, it's super satisfying and it makes it easier for you, doesn't it? It's like, absolutely. Sometimes I need to things put things like 
brush hair, brush teeth, take vitamins. Like <laughs> sometimes you just, you just have need to think that. about it. You know, like it's there. Like you just got to read it and you just got to do it, and then you get to exactly, take it off. exactly. That's why this helps. If you do something extra, you can add it onto the list and tick that straight off too, which feels you would do for me all over again. Yeah, because if you didn't write it on your list, did you even really do it? <laughs> exactly. And then another one that I like um, is actually, so I saw this from Mrs. Hinch. We all know who Mrs. Hinch is, right? Yep. And it was not a to-do list, but a ta-da list. So like, ta-da! Yeah, so like when you're having like a really like bad like day and you just like can't be bothered, blah, blah, blah then rather than like having an overwhelming to-do list in front of you you have a blank piece of paper and then you just write down as you do things and then at the end of the day you can look at it and be like ta-da this is all the things I managed to do even though I really didn't want to today that's awesome I didn't even realize that a ta-da list existed that's brilliant that it's really cool isn't it like uh, it's, I love like, the it's a good way it's a good way of reflecting at the end of the day and being like oh I actually did do stuff today yeah, I actually then, did achieve X, Y, Z today. That's great. Which I think is that's brilliant. It's really helpful for when you're feeling, you know, down and not wanting to do anything because you do get yourself in a like a slump, like oh, I've not done anything today, blah blah blah, and being like really hard on yourself. Whereas if you do the to do list, you can be like, like you say, like oh, like yeah. I actually I did do all of this today, and I felt like I did nothing, so yeah. I'm not as useless and pathetic as I make myself think yeah <laughs> and we all know what that's like we've all been there before right Absolutely. <laughs> thanks for joining us on today's episode we hope you learned something new please like subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss future uploads <laughs>